Gaming 1.5. Lot changed. Character went from being absolute dog water to very, very functional. Um, and if you take everything that's been learned before and combined it, what's possible now, put those two things together, you get a pretty damn good character versus previously, at least in my opinion. Fresh off a trip from Frosty's not too long ago. Um, and uh, I hadn't really... When I went, you know, missed the tournament, unfortunately, which sucked, but I got there a little bit later and played all night, you know, didn't really sleep, all that, but I was basically still playing Old Mista while I was there, because I hadn't labbed much of anything outside of, like, six ass juggles now, that's all I really knew. So, uh, we've changed that, now I know a lot. Um, basically, the character's goal priorities have, have shifted. Because you can be even more of an aggressor than you could be before. Because you have an anti-air that forces a hard knockdown or combo. And you just have a distanced hard knockdown option that you can mix into everything. And just making the character from being this like weird passive zoner hybrid to being like an actual... Like what I've always wanted him to be, which is a rushdown character. He's a rushdown character now. Like, like <laughs> he's, built, he's built to get in someone's face and eventually guard break or throw him. Um, the way he is currently, and then it leads to big meterless damage because six S is, you know, it's bullshit. <laughs> it's actually just really strong. So, Mr. Gaming one point five. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go over kind of like you know basic stuff and then advanced stuff and kind of go from there. Uh, I mean, I'll just talk about the main things. Uh, let's we'll start with just normals, easy shit. Five H being faster, really nice. If they jump over your head, you might actually recover in time and not you know get annihilated because the old version of this was way slower than this. So that's really nice. Uh, we'll talk about the big things, though. Uh, the two, well, there's actually three big things. One, success juggling. That's, I mean, or even for us, any of them juggling. But this getting a hard knockdown state is, you know, one that you can maintain for whole strings is absolutely massive. Um, because, you know, they were just, they're still a knockdown right there, even when I fucked up. Um, it's big. Uh, the other thing is gapless pressure. You got, you got this. You can actually keep somebody in lockdown, you know? If you keep looping 3S, there, there is... This does get gapless. You can't do much about this. And then you can mix in this and go for a throw, right? And this character now gets cracked stuff off of throws. You know, it's a meaty setup. I fucked up. I only got 3S. I should have got 6, but yeah. Anyway, um, so... So that that's really good. Um, this just this being gapless is that changes the character's entire approach. Like that's that's really good for fucking with people's SG timing and and just keeping pressure and going for guard breaks. Um, then you can go into S cancels, right? You can like you can cancel it into S and then like mix in six S's in there or whatever you want to do, and then mix in an anti air or mix an anti air and a forward shot. You know, just really keep them guessing on approach uh really really cool that um this right here tracks the way it does too like because th those are just free anti-airs that they jump this is so fast now if it's floated it's so fast like very viable anti-air now and even if you get hit it'll trade you'll get a trade confirm so it's it's really good but then there's the last thing last thing this is arguably the most important thing they changed the hit stun and block stun states of the pistol loaded shots a good example of this is 1s um that that didn't combo into heavy knee anymore that was something that got taken away that was in 1.2 um now you can do it again so even if you have one loaded boom you're you know you're able to get a crumple confirm and start some something right <laughs> this is actually a recovery route garbage combo but anyway um so yeah, so so the hit sun states changing is big because it allows you to do things like, well, along with the pistol startup being faster, you can do a two M into shot now, which lets you do like a seven frame into your pistol pressure into DP, which will bait a burst. You'll blow through the burst with the DP because of how long it lasts. So you can use this as a as a confirm, and you can actually confirm it. You can just go eyeball it and do it really late, I believe. So that's that's really powerful. Um, but it also lets you do new meterless launches because 4S changed, right? 4S launches now. So you can do like, let's see here. Uh, I'll just kind of demonstrate the new hit stun states for these. See if I can get a 6S Haas here. Nah, I fucked it up. I'll do it in a minute. But anyway, and 5S is also different. You get a little bit of a higher launch where you can get a jump in, right? So. Let 
don't even know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Whatever the hell that was. All right. Um, but basically, the point is, it doesn't matter. Either way, you're getting a fucking juggle, which is, you know, really good. Also, because of the 2S startup changes, you can do this. You can shoot straight up. You can round the corner by doing a full jump, that kind of thing. There's so much you can do to actually recover your juggles now in the corner due to the, the hit stun and elevation changes of a lot of things. Um, but the, way, the other way this is important, though, is because 4S launches now, you can do... And this is still really hard for me. I still haven't mastered it, but you can do like dashing 3S and then, or sorry, dashing 4S because of the hits done here. And um, you can actually get a juggle confirm without, see like that, with like without without um, using bar, which he's never been able to really do that before. I mean, there's lots of ways of doing it, obviously with 6S now, but I'm talking just like, you know, you're on the ground, right? And you got 3S load and you got to freestyle something really fast. You could do that. That is fucking dope. <laughs> you can actually do meterless juggle uh it kind of goes into something else too you can actually do dp into a meterless juggle but it's probably the hardest combo like the hardest maybe one of the hardest combos in the entire game uh i swear that this is a just frame it's a 4s dash it only works with a five frame um if i hit, hit even one of these it'd be a miracle <laughs> i did one in my video that one was a miracle i've done maybe a grand total of 15 of these ever um it's 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 so hard to hit the last S input, even with like a delay. I'm doing a three S piano and sliding into the fourth bullet with my last finger. I almost got it there. A uh, good way of describing this, uh, it's like a Kazuya down four two counter hit, perfect electric or whatever. There we go. Yep, we got it. Oof, that shit is much harder. But yeah, you can do that now. So that's pretty sweet, but I'm never going to go for it because it's fucked up hard. So uh, from there, uh, what else is possible? Well, this all kind of goes into success. Let's talk about success more. So success, you're going to get this, combine it with this buff, and you get new carries that let you actually complete Mr. Strings semi-comfortably. See the way he's spinning here? I can pick him back up here, loop him off the wall. There's a full fucking confirm right there. Boom. Um, the knee ender, you have to delay it. This one here, you have to delay it to the end so you can land in front of them instead of crossing through them. It's usually better to not cross through them. You can lead to some wonkiness. But see, you don't actually want to do what I just did unless you're finishing around with it or if you want the damage or whatever because now you're you're in a hard knockdown state. This is a hard knockdown state. All the way through, as long as you maintain three a 1 to 3S juggles. If you do... 4s you're gonna or sorry if you do yeah 4s or whatever during this at any time i don't even know if i can do it to be honest with you oh there it is here yeah 4s watch he's just gonna float right and he can tech you don't want that same deal with uh what is it knee if i do knee look he can tech so how do, how do we get around that and keep him in a hard knockdown state well there's a lot of ways now uh if you do this version um Six button Haas is the answer, uh, or sorry, six that's Haas, which is a uh, HHAS. Uh, see if I can land it. I don't really have a string worked out for this right now. I'm just kind of coming up with stuff. Yeah, you can keep the hard knockdown state going even after you've landed an HHA. So let's put them like way out here, right? Maybe we can do something like this. Uh, You actually don't need to start this with a jump in. It's actually better to dash into it if you want to burn the bar um, because you also want to get them into heart knockdown as soon as possible in your string. So here, here would be a way. And then boom, I did a late S there to float him just a little bit higher and uh, keep it going. So he was in hard knockdown all the way through that that combo there. There it is again. Let's see if I can do it. Ah, that's really. It's actually really easy to time it. It looks hard, but it's not as bad as it looks. There we go. The higher you do it, the better. There's the juggle. All right. And he's in hard knockdown right now. <laughs> See? So you can keep the string going, even if you drop. Uh, pretty dope uh, to be able to do that. And then let's see you do things like HHA and a GHA and all that stuff, too. Um, so, yeah. Uh, big change there. And then, I mean, that leads to, like, you know, if you just want to do, like, something like, I don't know, this little cross-through combo here. 
that's why you don't want to do the knee too early. That's a good example right there. You'll you'll land uh, in a really weird, awkward, like cross up situation. But say I don't want to burn burn the bar, right? And you just want to go for like a bread. You can do something like this. Uh, I don't know. Well, the whole point is, is you can actually just like at any time you can do like a, a hard knockdown juggle like this. And then you know, do like a OTG string or whatever. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. You can get creative. You can really just come up with shit now. Like I, I really am just kind of off the cuff on a lot of this. Um, the same thing though, like cascades down to your like older BNB, like this, this consistent good old friend here, you can instantly do this and get a 6S launch, and then boom, you're in hard knockdown country, right? Which is a good place to be. Um, I don't know what happened there. He's able to tech that. There's some other property there I always forget about. I'll have to go into that later. But uh, What do we got? Oh, you know what happened? I think it hit, I hit IPS. That's what it was. All right. yeah. Um. So, we'll go into like the advantages of uh, the 6S taunt combos now. This this is fucking way better. So you're going to see me cashing out GHA early on in like a juggle sometimes. Like I've been doing this lately. I did it in my most recent sets that are online. I kind of just did this sometimes. Just straight up just did this. Why? Because sometimes they preemptively burst. And it's actually very hard to, to beat this GHA with a burst. It's like a fucking damn near frame perfect to do it, I think. But anyway, I just cash out early. And then, boom, I get a full confirm after. So, you know, why wouldn't I? Uh, but, well, I mean, I didn't have to reload right there. But, I mean, basically the point is, is because of the, the punk combo possibilities, you can just pick up another jungle. And that's a whole other bar build, too. Yeah. So, cash it out. So, and see, I just built a GHA from that string in the taunt right there. I didn't have that, I don't believe. Or maybe I did. I'm an idiot. I did have an AN, whatever. Not the point. Um, Basically, now, because of the 6S properties where it launches them a little higher, you can, you know, you can just at any time blow your trump guard, get a little more damage in, and just cash out real fast and then pick it right back up after and they can decide whether or not to burst it at that point. But at that point you've already done like, you know, five, 600 damage or something. So, uh, I've been doing that like in advance. So if you see, if you get hit by six dust, you might as well just like immediately burst. Like that would be my recommendation for dealing with that situation. God, because that's, it's just not one you want to be in trust. <laughs> um, from there we talk about setups. Um, so, I usually do like cage based setups. You probably seen them that are something like this. Well, bat in a thousand today, huh? All right, what the hell was that? Let's try this again. Yeah, I'll take a five S. Fuck it. Oh my god! Whoops. Do a little reload right there too. By the way. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Even you can do as long as you back up like that. That's the new version of it. Redap at the end. Um, as long as you back, as long as you move forward a little bit, you can you can get a cage even off a four S. Like that, see. And I'm already blocking. And if he does anything, you know the bolt's just gonna hit him anyway. I can just chill. Um, but yeah, uh, that's the old setup. New version. Um, you can do. Multiple things off this. This is a meaty 5S, uh, 5L right there. Um, but that was the uh, 5S version, not the 6S version. Uh, if I do this correctly, they can only guess strike throw. It's, um, it's a situation where they basically have to decide, like, you know, hey, do I want to take 2M two, two into launch? Or do I want to take the throw, right? <laughs> Unless, you know, even if they SG, they're going to be taking the throw. Um, it's a it's a fucked up situation. Uh, because you can also, if you master the ground version of this setup, you can do just more. You can do, you can do like, you can go into 
uh, cage still. You know, it's not a big deal. But this this is the meaty setup, and that's a meaty meaty launch right there. Get. I don't know what I'm going for right now. I'm gonna go for a reload. <laughs> there we go. You know. Um. So yeah. So, but you can also go in a cage. You, you don't. You know. There's no restrictions. You can stop it and go straight into a cage setup too. If you just said that's what's appropriate for the time period or whatever. Um. But this this takes advantage of impact calling. The second shot in this string here calls the pistols back, allowing this to be possible. So you basically shoot the ground in the middle of it and then S off to get the um, the grounded version to allow you to keep OTGing. So I'm I'm plinking from reload to style during this. Kind of a weird input to practice at first, but Um, let's see here. I was reading Discord, my bad. <laughs> there it is. You know, I don't even have to throw in that 2L I just threw in. You know, that's not necessary, honestly. Uh, <laughs> what am I going for? I don't know. He crossed through me. Um, but yeah, they got to hold that. Uh, it's pretty, pretty good. Um, to get an actual 6S charge, because now that, that that's what you're focused on. You're focused on hitting that, because it's threatening. Now why, there's multiple reasons why this is better um, than before, uh, besides that. This 6S Ender, you don't have to do the fancy version. You can just do this. Like, say I had no bullets right now, right? I reload one bullet. I can just do this, reload all my bullets, then do one, two, this. And then boom. You know, we got a 6S meaty, and we're partying. Um... Like, or throw, right? Um, but even if I, like, threw and had no bullets, I could do the, just this and then do that. And there's a meaty throw. And then you could do the next thing. And just do it again. <laughs> They're in jail. So... I mean, the point is, is there's so many good throw options now because that same position gives you, what is it, fucking the same exact position right here, as long as you learn this ground timing, it gives you a uh, OTG taunt, right? So you can kind of make up your mind as you get there, is my point. Um, it was going to be a 1F. I don't know if I can hit this. Yeah, I fucked up. That's all right. I'm human, once again. Uh, so yeah, uh, that just kind of explains... A kind of like um, priorities now. You shouldn't always be going for cage, I don't think. Um, uh, this moves into like assist. I want to talk about assist really fast. Uh, I'm not using Diego now. I'm using Whole Horse. Whole Horse fixes Mista's biggest problem, which is when someone gets in. I mean, yeah, you can DP, right? But that's that's got its own limitations. But you DP and drop Whole Horse and you got a new problem. A whole new problem. A bunch of delayed you know, strings coming out, right, right in someone's face. On top of that, you know, you can use them as an anti-air as well. Um, if you're on the back foot um, or what have you, or just throw them out in the middle of a fucking, like, box string or whatever. Throw them in the middle of something like this, you know? And just, just he, he just sandwiches into the kit so well. And then I have setups for him, too, off certain ranges. Do, do like, four of these. Alright, what was I doing with this? I forget. Oh yeah, success, dash out, load, three, four, dash, put him in. Something like that. And you can land on either side doing that. Um, you can also, if you know they're going to SG, you can just sit above their heads. And they're, they're going to SG whole horse, and you're going to hit them with a pistol shot. Unless they, you know, SG again or whatever. Or immediately HHA. Um... You can get above their heads and you know fuck with their timing, or just straight up and jump above them. Like, just just mix it up, get weird. Uh, you have that tool now uh, in whole horse. He's, uh, yeah, yeah. Like Diego's cool for block strings, but like trust me when I tell you the defensive value of having whole horse to to cover your ass sometimes, along with the pressure that he can set up in block strings as well, um, lets you jump and do other things that you normally wouldn't be able to do with Diego. Um, I seriously think it's the future of that and doing 6S charge setups is definitely like a big part of the character's future right now, if you, if you ask me at least. 
Um, also, just, just mastering your bullets, just keeping count of your bullets. Like I'm talking a lot now about taking advantage of situations where you're low a bullet. So say you have to reload a bullet or something. So like, um, say I only have one and I got to reload, right? You know, how am I going to deal with that? Go into like a 5S, or no, that was an accident, but go into like a, a 6S, you know, setup instead. Just reload all your bullets like this nice and slow, you know, and then do whatever. Um, but more focus on things like that, basically. Um, or like, even like, you know, I was I was doing the, was the easier version of a cage where you just, you know, deploy and then dash them out and shoot, something like that. You can get, you can, you can, you can mix it up, you know. You don't gotta stick to any one thing. Just look at the tools and and start messing around a little bit more. Um, but definitely, I think it's gonna be important to take advantage of low resources. Thinking about low resources. You finish a big ass juggle string like I don't know, like something like this, right? I would be more focused on like landing like a a low resource route in some circumstances now than like doing doing a, a cage setup. Even though I just <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, so let's get into that a little bit. Uh, uh, sorry, this is a, I got a little bit of a script, but like, not really. Like, I'm just kind of fucking like getting sidetracked. Oh, actually, while well, we have them there. Uh, there's this like really weird link you can do now. It's pretty useless, but you can do S cancel light. <laughs> I did it in my video, but like, <laughs> there's really no place you're ever going to use this. It's just interesting that it works. Uh, and it's also kind of hard to hit. Uh, you got to kind of do it at a really weird angle on the axis. There it is. <laughs> I like that. Anyway, um, all right. So let's talk about advantages of 6S from a distance. Because, like, we already know that, like, 6S, you can do, like, this and pick up from an ungodly distance away, right? Or if you're on the ground already, it's even better. It's, like, just crazy how far you can be and pick back up. Yeah, I ran out of bullets. That's a really good example of like what happens when you you go for the greed, which in which case right there, I think what I should have done, like say I had the same knockdown situation, right? I used a 2M for one thing for the guarantee this would happen, that I'd actually get the hit at the end because I don't think 2H would have worked, so I adjusted on the fly. But like, eh, it's still hard to do unless I'm far away. Let's try that again. You know, why not go into this, right? Why not go into that 6S setup? that you can reload all your bullets in the middle of or whatever things like that that's what th that's like what i'm starting to adjust for instead of going for like fancy shit all the time and cage and shit um so uh but anyway going off of this this right here you know it's a hard knockdown boom man just here's a setup get in there right you can run all the way up <laughs> which is crazy but you can uh you can do you know charge up and start this whole string right here um you can uh, deploy early, you know, OTG, do something fancy if you really want to, but I wouldn't recommend that. You can do the top combo. Um, here, here's the deploy. See if you can hit this. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, man. I love that shit. <laughs> I fucked that up, but whatever. I should have dashed him further. But, you know, like, for instance, though, that, that, that just makes every 6S shot a, a hazard because I can just do this, right? Um, whoops, I gotta stop reloading. <laughs> Mixing up too much. You can just do this. You can keep it simple as hell, you know, and go straight into juggle, GHA, or, or, you know, whatever else. But that means all these are dangerous. Even if you're jumping back and you're full screen, you're, you're, you're a, a kind of a threat now. You can just run up. You don't even have to charge pistols because of this. You can reload all your bullets, one, two, and then boom, taunt combo. You know, and cash out or whatever. So, I mean, or not. You can do a setup, right? So, I'm just saying. Million, like, goddamn, I'm rambling. There's a million fucking options now. There's so much shit you can come up with. Um, so, so that's a new setup structure. I mean, you can do some creative new juggles off of this too. If you get like five or what is it? I think four or five or whatever. You can do like these. <laughs> I love doing that too. Um, uh, let's see what else. Um, um, oh yeah, I should talk about combo structure shit too because it's like it's updated so much that like you can do this on the ground now and then here's how you round a corner now you just jump you see that it's really fucking good um to round the corners with that 
Uh, we should go into 6S Haas again, though. Actually, I think I already did that. Did I already do that? I think I did. Well, let's just do it at the corner, then. Fuck it. I'll do, like, a corner version of it. You can reload here, and then go straight into uh, a 5, 5H five S cancel. And that lets you do, uh, or continue the uh, the hard knockdown transitions, too. I'm kind of a potato at the moment, I guess. Let's see here. God damn, what's going on? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Try this out. <laughs> Whatever. The point is, you can do more shit. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yeah. Heavy knees and the. Uh... Well, I don't know. Maybe that's all I really got to talk about for now. Um, I could go on forever. Honestly, it's it's a lot, and I haven't mastered everything yet. Obviously, I'm still working on it. Even after everything I've done with like the footage and all that, it's just the ceiling is that high now. Okay, which is which is dope. You know, I love that shit. Um, you can really kind of m m choose your own adventure in a lot of ways as long as you know what to look for. The big one for me, like, that always drove me crazy was the corner rounding. This shit was so cursed for so long. There just wasn't, like, a really good way to do it because of the way all of his routing works. Running through works pretty well now, too, because you have so much time during the hit stun state uh, where he's spinning. You have a lot more time, a lot more float to work with than you used to. So you can do a lot of cool stuff like run straight at him and then cross under, um, which also helps resolve corner. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much everything now. Uh, it's just a matter of, like, getting consistent with all of it because, you know, these are still really hard. These are still really all really hard fucking combos and shit to be consistent with. I think a lot of people are probably going to have more success with the new zoning options than anything. Um you're probably going to see a lot of, like, success mashing and running away, if I were to make a guess, which, you know, that's fine. It's really good. You could viably play that style now, I think, without any issues. Let me get a 4 struggle here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> I try to cross under knee just for the hell of it. Um, yeah. If you got any questions, uh, swing them my way. Um, I probably still have a lot more to show, honestly. Sorry. Peace out.